10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift up. One propulsion nominal. There goes Electron, a beautiful liftoff there for Live Left Launch, now on its way to orbit. Electron is quickly picking up its speed and altitude and approaching a crucial moment in launch that we call max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is when the atmospheric forces on the vehicle are at their peak. That's right, and we're standing by now for the call from Mission Control that we have successfully navigated this phase. Clear the max Q. AGB discharge nominal. And that's confirmation from Mission Control that Electron has successfully passed through max Q. All data is looking nominal so far and the rocket speed and altitude are right on target. Next up will be first stage separation and MECO stage or main one, engine cuddle. Electron's first stage is powered by nine Rutherford engine that as Sam mentioned will soon power down in preparation for MECO. Once that's complete, the first and second it stages of Electron will separate, allowing Electron to drop the first stage that it no longer needs. Next, the single vacuum-optimized Rutherford engine on the second stage will ignite so that it can propel the second stage and the payload stage to its orbital the destination. These actions are coming up in just a few moments, so let's check them out. 15 seconds to staging. And your burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Let's listen in now to Mission Control and keep an eye out for those two fairing halves to fall fairing away. Fairing jettison confirmed. We're cruising now over 9,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 142 kilometers. We've got about five minutes left on the second stage's engine burn time. Now, next up will be key milestones for Electron called Battery Hot Swap, which we'll see shortly. If you look closely, you should be able to see that the first pack of batteries jettison away from the second stage. Let's listen in to Mission Control now. Battery jettison confirmed. Confirm outside successful. 